What's going on traders? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to take a look at ASNS, the penny stock that moved like 300% on the day. It's a massive gainer. Many of you guys are going to have questions, so I figured I'd come out and make this video, give you guys a few tips along the way, marking off a few resistance levels, and kind of some of the things that I was looking at while trading the stock today. I ended up having a really strong day on it, finished up about $6,000 on the day, 6000 of it coming from ASNS, the other couple hundred coming from a few other stocks. But all in all, really good day trading. I want to walk you guys through some of these things and then kind of warn some of you newer traders that this might not be uh, the best investment or stock to be trading in the coming days as now it has entered into a territory of very high risk. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, here it is. This is the stock today that ended up running about 300%. Going from its gap up price or yesterday's closing price to the high of day today, the stock is currently up about 270% or sorry, up to high of day, the stock reached about 270% gain. That's absolutely phenomenal. This is a picture perfect example of the type of stocks, oh, excuse me, picture perfect example of the type of stock that I'm referring to that I like to trade when they're penny stocks. When stocks look like this or start trading like this, that is when I gravitate or really put my attention into following these stocks, all right? So all the time we'll talk about you know, penny stocks and should we trade them, should we not trade them? And you know, a lot of times you'll hear me say, well, you know, I only like to trade them when I see value in them. So earlier on in the day, as soon as you know, ASNS started popping up and kind of doing this channeling and not breaking down. That's where I started to get, you know, very interested in the stock. And then from there on throughout the day, I was able to make a couple trades on it as it really started to push all the way up. And I caught every single one of these pullbacks on the way up. I was able to get in long here, get in long here and get in long here and sell all the way up through all these moves. So we're able to finish out the day up just shy of 7,000. Uh, earlier in today's live trading video recap, I was only up 300 bucks, so thanks to the stock, it really made my day. So I wanna take a look at the yearly chart here. All right, so this yearly chart, actually we'll look at the 180 day, four hour chart first. This is where we can see some key levels came into play today. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna mark off all these resistance points. Ready, we had a resistance point right there. We had a resistance point right here, and we had one right there. And we also had a big, 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 big resistance. I wanna say it was right here, it was at $4. And then maybe one even there at 350 possibly. I can't remember for sure. All right, so there we go. Now, when we go back into this five minute time frame or one minute time frame, you'll see that all these levels I mapped off on the chart were very key levels where the stock ended up breaking out from. But before we get into that portion, I just wanna map this off for you so it's a little bit more clear. So I marked off resistance points at this particular level right there, the high of that little green candle, this level right there, and then I also moved all the way back down to when it had gapped down quite a while ago, and I put a level just under here on this old, old support, and then one right here at this $4 level, okay? So now when we go into, let's go back to the one minute time frame. you'll see how each one of these levels kind of interacted, okay? So you can see here, this first, you know, 240s level, or even, you can even say 220s. Dating all the way back, I marked that off as a resistance. And you can see, in the beginning of the day, it ran up right into about that price level, sold off, it broke over, hit resistance right at my next price level of 240, it sold off, and then it started channeling kind of right under this 240 price, it broke down again, it popped up to 240, had resistance, popped up to 240 again, eventually it held over 240, ended up running right into, as you can see, my next resistance right at 270, pulled back, we broke out, and then eventually this thing just started gaining steam and running up, and then you can see it ran right up to where? My next resistance right in the 350s, 360s, we had a small little pullback before another run where? Right up to $4, my next resistance. And then that's where this thing had a massive short squeeze and then it broke out of the $4 mark for an instant, basically 50 cent squeeze right there. So I was able to really crush this stock all day long. So what I'm referring to is, is naturally the penny stocks will start off kind of slow in the day and then they'll pop up. And if they kind of fade out and then drop, they're usually no good for the day. But you know when they kind of have this gap up and then they end up 
shooting up and then everybody finds out about them and then they kind of trade and don't break down. These are the types of penny stocks that have the opportunity to run and go supernova. This is the type of penny stock we want to trade. If we're not seeing some of this type of action going into the trading day where you know it, it pushes up, it pulls back, and then it kind of hangs out but doesn't break down and keeps channeling sideways and trickling up, then we know this penny stock could gain momentum and really start firing off, as you can see it therefore did. And then, of course, the other important thing to do is always make sure you go back into your time frames and map off these key resistance points, as that's most likely where the stock will see resistance or it can have a fresh breakout all right guys so looking at the stock too you know it's possible okay now we now we just kind of looking at the stock this thing is up 200 percent. so this is going to be it tomorrow everybody is going to be focusing on the stock know this that tomorrow morning this will be the hottest talked about stock everybody's going to be following it at that point it's already too late for the most part it could keep moving higher but now that it's already gotten so high Lots of short sellers and people that are selling the stock are getting into it, right? They're looking to sell into this stock. So chances are tomorrow we might see it move a little bit higher, but there's a strong chance that this stock is going to start ending up uh, coming down, okay? It's not very likely that we see stocks like this go on two massive running days. We've seen it, but it doesn't always happen. Uh, most likely it will end up crashing the next day or probably two days after that. Something else to note, um, if the stock did continue running and going super crazy, we could actually see it all the way up to a price of about $7. That would be the 200 moving average here on its daily chart, which would be a very strong resistance point. And if you look all the way back here, right in this, right there, the start of the high of that candle goes straight over right into about that 200 moving average. So let's say this thing did really pick up even tomorrow and go on another massive day and it went crazy. We could see it up to, you know, prices of about seven. And if it did get to seven, that's where I would for sure sell because you would most likely not see it go past $7. So this is exactly what we're referring to a stock that is going supernova. A lot of people will be watching it tomorrow. This is now turned into an extremely high risk stock to trade. If you're a beginner trader, um, honestly, your best bet is most likely to just stay away from the stock. It's probably not worth you trading at this point. Um, just want to map that out. Um, and let you guys know kind of what's going on with the stock. It's up 300%. It's very overextended. Um, you know, it, a lot of short sellers are coming in looking at shorting the stock. It has now become very high risk. If you're not somewhat, you know, um, you know, of an intermediate level trader, this is probably not the best stock for you to trade if you don't have down the concepts of trading quite yet. So do not fall victim to FOMO here and start you know, emotionally trading this tomorrow because you think it's going to have a big day because it had a big day. Um, just know this has now become very high risk. Uh, so I so I hope you know that helps you guys kind of you know determine how you might go about trading this tomorrow. The last thing I will say about this is, you know, it's very possible we're going to see this thing run up into after hours trading and go even higher and then open up pre-market. And then that's normally where we'll start seeing a downturn. But um, right now it has a high a day at $4.50. It's got a lot of room that it could keep running uh, if it gets over four fifty, and it does have that really, really strong momentum going into tomorrow. It has a lot of room to run, but in order for it to go higher, it at least needs to get over $4.50 by tomorrow morning or when the market opens. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. So thank you again for tuning in. Please do give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe before you head out the door. And always make sure to tune into any of our other videos here on the channel so you can continue your learning. And then make sure to tune into our pre-market live stream tomorrow morning and Monday through Friday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for a pre-market watch list. Take care.